Hi, I'm Martin from Prince Party. What we're going to be doing in this video is showing you how to replace the waste ink pads on this Epsom L355. Numerous other L series eco tank models from Epsom are also covered by this particular video. Um, check the description for the full list. First things first, what do you need to actually do this? Well, you need a set of replacement pads, our LX1 series, just here, a crosshead Phillips screwdriver, a pair of gloves, fairly important, an empty container for putting all of the um, soiled waste pads and any other materials, paper, waste paper and things like that you generate. So let's get started. On this particular model, you have this little catch here. We don't want the ink to move within the nozzles, print head, or from the tanks in the tubing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into the transport position like that. That will crimp off the tubes and stop the ink moving within the tubing. Next thing we want to do is identify where the waste pad holder is, just under here. Now the waste pad holder itself is held in position by this screw that you can just see. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to remove this screw. Take that out, put it to one side, somewhere safe. Because this is a continuous ink system built into this printer, I don't really want to be tipping the printer on its front or anything like that if I can at all help it. The way to do that is to pull the printer over to the edge enough to expose the pad holder, but to avoid the printer from actually tipping over. Because if I bring this over here now, eventually it's gonna reach a bridge point where it's going to tip, okay? I need to move it a lot further than this, just so as you know. So what I wanna do is put this ream of paper on the opposite corner, the bit that is going to stay on the desk like that to act as a counterweight. This stops the printer from tipping over when I get it to the point where it wants to go. Just to be on the safe side, I've got a second one of these, put it on top, and now that printer's not going anywhere. This unit here is the pad holder. We've already removed the screw. The only other thing to do is to just push, slide that unit over to the right, towards the center, like that, and then it will drop out, like so. Okay, carefully place this on the desk or worktop, and then push your printer back on to your worktop so that you don't have to worry about it toppling. We then put on some gloves. And what we want to do now is get our pad holder and remove these pads from the pad holder so that we can put some fresh ones in. The way to do that is just use a screwdriver or something like that, and then just gently lever out your soaked pads from the printer like this. Get a little bit of kitchen towel or paper towel like this, and then just wipe the inside like that just to get any excess out. There's not really much in there. Pop it in your waste container and then leave it like that. Take your waste pads and dispose of those in your outside bin. Then take your replacement pads. So your pads will arrive on a sheet like this. Now just to note, this part here can be almost any of the other parts. It's a spare, more often than not, that takes up any excess capacity or space that's been left because the pads are a little bit too thin. So in this case, it's this part here, but in other instances, it may well be this part or one of these or something similar. What you're seeing here is, is just a representation. Ultimately though, what you're doing is you're taking your set of pads and you're building up the replacement stack so that it will go back in here, okay? So you end up with something like this. Once you've done that, you then gently slide your pad set into the pad holder like this. If you're wondering about the fact that these pads seem a little bit odd shaped and things, there was a slight issue with the tooling um, it wasn't caught in time. This isn't affecting the function of the pads at all. 
the pads may have slight variations in size and thickness but they will fit like this just fine and uh, this difference in height isn't an issue at all okay and that's now ready to put back into the printer so let's put this back in we've got our printer over the edge as before it's far enough over that we can then slide it up it's important that when you're pushing this up that you get it in the right position as far over to the center as possible and then slide it over to this side or to the outer edge where the ink is so that the catch here latches on and holds the pad holder in position if you let go of it it doesn't drop out right we now push back onto the desk and take our counterweight off put our screw back into the hole there just there Last thing to do is remember that we put our printer into its transport mode with this little dial here. So what we do is rotate that back into the print position, which on this printer is in the upward position, okay? Now, if your printer doesn't have that, don't worry about it, um, but it's just one of those things to remember to do at the end. As far as the waste pads are concerned, they've now been replaced. You do still need to reset the waste ink counter so that the error is gone and your printer will then start to function again. If you're unsure how to do that, we have a playlist up here that you can visit and that will have for Mac OS, Windows, etc. So that's basically it. If you've got any questions, please use the comments below or contact us using our support details in the description. Um, other than that, a like would be much appreciated. It does help us reach more people. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.